Its energy surrounds us and binds us. What is up, nerds? Welcome back to Carbonite Combos. If this is your first time joining us, you've just taken your first step into a larger world. And like always, if you're a returning viewer, we can't thank you enough for tuning in for yet another live reaction here on the channel tonight we're going to be watching falcon and the winter soldier episode five and we're going to keep this intro uh short and to the point because i think all of us have been waiting for episode five since the very beginning because um, they said that this would be the episode that made us cry there's a there should be a surprise cameo now if we learned anything from wandavision we uh, also have learned not to get our hopes up too too much uh, but i'm super excited to get into this episode uh, but right before we do always got to introduce the co-host alec how we doing man nick i am pumped as usual dude like just like you said um i'm expecting great things from this episode but you know before we get into it guys as always go hit that subscribe button that bell button we, we greatly appreciate your support and you know we can't do this without it as well as go follow us on all our social medias if you want to stay up to date with everything we're doing um you can easily find it on there so go give it a look you said it alec you said it all right but um i think that's all we got i am ready to start this episode last week we had a crazy one ending and john walker publicly murdering a man um whether you call it murder or not um i i've seen a lot of debate but i i definitely think he he murdered a man in cold blood but we're not going to get into that we're going to get into episode five it's called truth so let's find out what this truth is let's alec are we ready now. yes sir all right i'll let you hit play all right three two one all right, so he's on the run. So this is the warehouse that we see in the teaser where Sam, Bucky, and John look like they're about to go at it. So mm -hmm. I wonder if we're going to get that pretty quick. Is that Lamar? Yeah. Oh, he's having like flashback vision things. You got to give him the shield. Want to bet? Ooh, Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know that this is probably going to end with John getting away, but dude, Bucky would beat the hell out of him easily. They nerfed him for this show. They did. I agree. Sam, where you at, dog? Oh, what's going on Ooh, with the his arm. arm? This is a good fight. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, I did not expect this fight this early. That looked like an that was definitely an Infinity oh, War callback. Did it just break his arm? Maybe. Did you hear that? Yeah. It wasn't a hundred percent I was getting Thanos vibes. Yeah. He's got it back. You got it back. <laughs> what do you do with him now? Cause it's not like they can turn them in. Like they're not technically in the right right now. Yeah. Look at Bucky holding it. The light shining on him. Wow. You should get one and do that paint job like that. I don't want to do that. That'd be dope. That's a disgrace to the shield. I like Torres. Me too. I wish we would have seen more. I'm sure we will, but mm -hmm. shield's clean. Shield's clean. Oh, there, there we is. go. Let's go. There we go. Let's go. The new Falcon. That's dope.
Oh, man. Bro, he's going to lose his mind. I think he already has. See, I like her as an actress a lot. I don't know who the character is, though. Uh huh. Seems like she's important, though. Yeah. Man, Elaine's getting old. Seinfeld. She has some very power broker vibes. She's 100% the power broker. I wouldn't say 100%, but I, I mean, I'm about 95% there. She has some. She knows too much. Up. Let's see. Has to be. Come on, Bucky. It's <laughs> like, gotcha. That was really interesting. Ooh, here we go. The raft. I think this is going to be a really powerful scene we're about to see. He has the shield with him. Yeah. I feel like he'll make the right choice. Uh-oh. Ooh. What we got? <laughs> Those are going to be like vibranium... Vibranium wings or something. Are they going to be st uh, Stars and Stripes? Just going to leave us hanging on, on the briefcase, man. I know. Ooh, is he crushing on uh -oh. on Miss Wilson? Sarah was um, Cap's mom's name. Your mom's name was Sarah. Because I know I, yeah, I was like, I've heard him say that name before. Little uh, Easter egg right there. Sam's got to be thinking, man, maybe I should just take this thing. They're still reeling yeah. us in with this case right here, man. Yeah. You think season two will be Captain America and the White Wolf? That'd be sweet. That's rock. Dude, I still don't trust her, man. Batrock, we've talked about him on the on the pod. He is a villain in the comics, so I wonder if that's the guy we're going to see. I knew that because I have the closed captions on. Mm -hmm. There we go, finally. I've been waiting for this scene all season. Just to see him work with the shield. Nice. Ooh.
So he did know beforehand. It's like they're playing Frisbee. Frisbee, yeah. We still not gonna see that case? I, I'm gonna be a little mad if we don't, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing that in 3D? I flinched and it's not even coming at me. Let's go, man. That where it belongs, baby. <laughs> Let's go. That's so good to see, man. Yeah. Uh oh. This is the guy from Winter Soldier. Mm hmm. Oh, that's, um, Batch Rock. He won't succeed, though. Well, he's not the Falcon anymore, so. Technically, he's no longer Falcon, right? I don't know. He was just in the park. Here we go. Let's go. About time. They really know how to get your heart pumping. I know. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna check for a post credit. Oh. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, okay. So what are your initial thoughts? Let's not go too deep into this, but one, the thing I thought was really the coolest thing I took away from this episode was it had been talked about um, at the end of Endgame when before Steve's going goes back in time to return the stones. Uh, Bucky's like, you're taking all the stupid with you, whatever. If he knew beforehand what Steve's plan was, it is confirmed that he knew exactly what was going to happen. What do you, I'm sorry, what do you, what do you mean? People have always wondered if Bucky knew that Steve was going to stay in the past and it, that, that it, he was going to give up the mantle. Well, yeah, it's already, we already know that he did that. We already know no, he knew. When it was, when it was, no, we didn't, not until now. Not true because he said, you, he's, ta he's saying you're taking the stupid with you. They hug. You know, you can tell that he knows that he's not going to see him. Yeah, but when young we, again. no one, no one ever knew. Is that actually a thing or what? It is a hundred percent a thing now. Yes, it, all I'm I mean, at. dude, that was that was already a hundred percent a thing. Like you could already, you could already a hundred percent tell. And like, that he that he knew that he was going to give Sam the shield. It's like when they're sitting there, he's they well, yeah, because he's in the distance. Yeah, it, he's, I, he's I the one never, that nodded. I know that's what that's my point is what I'm getting at is that it's confirmed now that Bucky knew the plan the whole time. It was never 
everyone I've ever talked to never knew if it was confirmed or not. I don't know who you're talking to, but like it, it was, it was pretty clear in Endgame that Bucky knew the whole time what was going on based on his last conversation with Steve before he went and took back the stones. And then the fact that he's standing there while Steve, while old Steve is sitting there, he's standing there letting Falcon know, like he's giving him the nod, like, that's okay. I mean, I, I, right. You could, you could, you could like assume, but it was never a fact. Now it's a fact. I don't know. I, I, okay. I always thought it was a thing until now, dude, we can't keep letting these producers and people get to us because they said there's going to be a huge cameo episode five. What the hell was the cameo? Uh-uh. Like, uh, if it was um, Julia Lewis Dreyfus's character, um, it wasn't I, I a know. huge cameo. Um, it wasn't a huge cameo, and you know we'll have to go back and watch it again because I'm sure her character is something in the comics. I'm, she seems like she'll be the power broker. Um, but what I thought was interesting is I think Sharon is kind of in league with this Flag Smashers because. She's the one that connected them. She's the one that said that was talking about rock and said, I have, I have another job for you. Knowing damn well what the job was that it's to kill Falcon. So I think she, you know, whether she's in league with them or not, she's definitely, it's already um, a thing that it's already been proven. She's very well connected, but she's connected with the flag smashers. She's, um, getting assignments from them to give to people. So, you know, they called her asking, Hey, who can, uh, who can help me kill Falcon? And that's, that's who he, she helped find. But I don't know, like I, I was expect, it was a very deep episode on an emotional standpoint for sure, but I was expecting a major fight, a major reveal again. And well, I mean, next week's the finale. So we, yeah. we know, something crazy is going to happen. Um, yeah. I mean, cause it's hope. not confirmed that there's going to be a season two. No. So dude, I just, we, we need to stop letting producers mm-hmm. and people behind the scenes make these calls for us. Say it's going to make you, it, this episode will definitely make you cry. There were a lot of intense and very deep, meaningful moments, a hundred percent. So if that's what they meant, I get that. I thought they meant cry more from an MCU standpoint, not mm-hmm. so much a real life standpoint. So I, I, I can understand that. Um, but once again, I think we're getting too involved. I think we're getting too wrapped up in what other people are saying before we watch the episode. So we just expect a lot of different things. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know. Still a great episode. I'm excited sure. that. You know, I just want to open the damn brief that briefcase, man. I just want to see what's in it. What do you think could be in it? I mean, it's a hundred percent a new suit. Yeah, um, I feel like that's a lot of buildup for just a new suit, though. It's gonna be red, white, and blue. I mean, yeah, um, it's definitely gonna be vibranium. It has to be hundred percent. I don't know, man. It's it was it was a good episode. I liked it. Um, yeah. Next week's the finale, so we'll we'll see. Um, I can't imagine all these characters just kind of going away, though. You know what I mean? Because right. I don't. We're not going to see Bucky and Sam and Spider Man or Doctor Strange or anything like that. I think it's very possible that we see Bucky in uh, Black Panther two, and who knows? Maybe we see Falcon in there too. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, I'm excited that Sam's finally taking up this Captain America um, mantle because he's he's the most deserving. He's 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 the new Cap, yes, sir. Uh, all right, guys. But thank you again for tuning in for another another reaction here for the Falcon Winter Soldier. It was an awesome episode. We're we're very excited for the season finale um, a week from a week from right now. We have a lot of awesome stuff coming out uh, for you guys. So definitely make sure to tune into the live stream next Tuesday. We're not 100 percent sure what we're going to be talking about yet, but it is for sure going to be 9 p.m. Eastern time, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Please come, you know, hop in the live chat, say what's up and, uh, you know, just join in the conversation with us. Um, 
Don't forget to follow us on all social media, also all uh, podcast platforms, and don't forget to sub to us right here on YouTube. Leave us a comment on what your thoughts were for this episode. It was it was uh, definitely a cool one, and we want to see we want to see your thoughts as well. But until next Tuesday, guys, may the force be with you. Remember, the force will be with you. <laughs>